All right, I'm here today talking to Dr. Keel mm -hmm. and Dr. Abernathy, and we're talking about a new suicide prevention test that they've been using for the past year in his pediatric practice. So, Dr. Abernathy, you want to tell us a little bit about the test and how you started? Sure. A little over a year ago, I attended a conference at uh, in Williamsburg and uh, Dr. Lisa Horowitz with the National Institute of Health presented a program on uh, teenage suicide and she talked about this test called the ASK that could be used to identify kids and adolescents that were potentially suicidal and I immediately thought I need that test, I want that in the office. Uh, the test had been validated in emergency rooms so they knew it worked but they'd never done it in a primary care office. And so our group was lucky enough to be chosen to test it to see, could it be done? Would it be effective? Would it ruin our day? Would it interfere with our day? And all of those fears uh, have been uh, debunked. Everything works. Mm -hmm. And uh, the results have been outstanding in terms of acceptance of the test by the kids, uh, acceptance by the parents, and the results uh, are now so that we know that we're not going to miss kids who are potentially suicidal. And I think that's a, a very uh, important aspect is that just by asking these questions, it doesn't affect the actual flow of the day, but it has such a opportunity to pos of the possibility of catching even just one. And the interesting thing about it was that when we did it, uh, one of the questions was, has anyone ever asked you about suicide before? And only a third of the kids that we did, 12 and up, uh, had been asked about suicide. Wow. So do you feel like talking about suicide helps prevent it? Uh, boy, that's an interesting um, statement. You know, the, there's a Dr. Jeffrey Bridge with the National Institute of Health says one of the fears the parents had that we, we would put suicide ideas into the into their kids' heads, and that's been totally proven that you can't do that. Uh, so talking about suicide doesn't put the idea in their heads, but asking them about suicide, they will tell you if there are a potential suicide um, kid. Yeah. Well, one last question. Um, I was talking to you earlier and we talked about the fact that you've done this for a year and it sounds like you're going to take this to the next level, that you want to provide a whole community of care around mental illness and that some of the kids that came in with other complaints, you immediately now can recognize them as children who are suffering from mental illness illness mm -hmm. or a mental health issue as opposed to a physical issue. Right, you, that's the one thing we learned that we have to be constantly aware that sometimes physical symptoms are what the presentation is to us but the problem is a mental health issue. So we would like to develop a, a mental health center where we can send these kids and they can get the treatment they need so that we don't move into more severe issues or if they're depressed, they're cared for, if they're anxious, they're cared for, and above all, we prevent them from uh, potentially uh, having a wish to die and carrying out that act. And to have that happen in, a, in an expedited or expedient way, that as soon as we notice something, we can get them the care that they need in a very timely manner without a long waiting period. So that's something very important that we can get it almost immediately. Right, because waiting six months, you know. It's not an option anymore. Right, no. it isn't. So what would you say to other physician practices out there who are thinking about this or, you know, would you recommend it? Uh, oh, absolutely. I mean, uh, no one deserves to die by suicide. No one. And uh, the one thing that motivated our group more than anything in the world when we started talking about doing this was it wasn't how many were we going to catch, it was how are we going to deal with one that we don't catch and how are we going to handle the death of one of our patients by suicide and that we couldn't live with. Thank you so much for speaking today. I really appreciate it. Thank you.